In this TA Tech Tip, we are going to introduce DTC-300 and DTC-25, which are guarded heat flow meters that measure thermal conductivity of materials directly. Direct Thermal Conductivity Measurement Instrument, or DTC, is a guarded heat flow meter that can measure the thermal conductivity of a range of materials, including solids, liquids, gels, paste, and powders. As you can see in this slide, the sample has the thickness of delta L and there is a temperature gradient of 30 degrees centigrade applied to it. So there is a heater on the top and a coolant on the bottom that applies that temperature gradient to the sample. And then we measure the amount of heat that passes through the cross section of the sample and causes the delta T temperature difference. The Gordon heat flow meter is a steady state method that requires calibration over a thermal resistance range. This method can be used for polymers, glasses, ceramics, metals of medium or low thermal conductivity, carbon composites, and other materials. This method is preferred to laser flash method because it's a direct measurement method. The temperature range is between minus 20 to 300 degrees C. We need a guard to prevent lateral heat loss, as I will show you later. And the limitations of this method are the interface resistance between the specimen and the instrument that we can overcome by applying thermal compound and the uh, available thickness of the sample. The thickness can be anywhere between a few mils to one inch, and this really depends on the type of material that we're using. In this slide, you can see the guards that prevent lateral heat loss as the heat flows from the top plate to the bottom. And you can see where the heat is measured. In this slide, you can see the DTC-300 guarded heat flow meter. This instrument uses the ASTM E1530 method and the temperature range is between minus 20 to 300 degrees C. The sample size is a two inch diameter disc and can be used for solid, paste, liquids, thin films, and polymers. You can change the clamping force that is applied to the sample and you can also adjust the thickness stopper that is used for compressible samples. This instrument can be connected to a computer and can measure thermal conductivity of between 0.1 to 20 watts per meter Kelvin. In this slide, you can see the DTC-300 stack through the guard, and the red part is the sample. This picture shows the DTC-25 thermal conductivity meter. This instrument works the exact same way as DTC-300, but only operates at room temperature. It can also be used for solids, paste, liquids, and thin films, and measures the same range of thermal conductivity. One other difference between this instrument and the DTC-300 is that you manually enter the results from the screen to your PC. So this instrument does not need to be connected to a computer. In this slide, you can see the thermal conductivity results from room temperature to 300 degrees C for Vespel standard sample. The blue line shows the literature values and the red line shows the measured values using DTC-300 instrument. In this TA tech tip, we explained how the DTC-300 and the DTC-25 can be used for a range of materials. Stay tuned for more TA tech tips on how to prepare the samples.